is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have an epic wwe elite action figure custom fail for you guys yes a failure um it, it's it's pretty freaking devastating and it's it's pretty upsetting and it pissed me off yesterday guys and i'm, I'm gonna get into it right now so yesterday a figure came in the mail it, it actually specifically this figure right here the defining moments rick flair elite figure you guys know this is the retro fest in the red you know the the retro fest you guys can kind of see it's like a timeline here we got the uh you know the the older rick flair you know back in the day in the prime and then we have his last match his retirement match with Shawn michaels at wrestlemania 24 even though he went on to wrestle like 162 more times this figure was based off of wrestlemania 24 and so i ordered this figure i'll go ahead and take his robe off so you guys can um get a better look at what i'm trying to talk about so uh while, while i'm taking this off i guess i can tell you guys what uh what, what the plan was what everything was so you guys know in the last episode of wwe action figure surgery i believe it was episode number 21 right we were trying to make a blue kenny omega so we you remember we had our our sting legs and we had god he can't even stand up so let's just take a moment to point out that uh rick flair was not this ripped during that wrestlemania 24 match so thank you for that thanks for the inaccuracy so you guys know in the last episode of wwe action figure surgery this is where we were um we had the sting upper legs remember we had the aj styles uh, lower legs over here and we were trying to make a kenny omega for the royal rumble i wanted to do a blue fantasy attire kenny omega for the mdt royal rumble and I put all the parts together and remember we were talking about torsos and I asked you guys which torso you guys wanted me to pick. We of course ended up going with the Macho Man. Macho Man ended up winning but I figured you know what I think I have an easy way to create this Kenny Omega and make it look a lot better because these legs were a lot taller you know the, these legs were taller and they didn't look good it just didn't look good in my opinion. The torso cracking wasn't going correctly and it really was just upsetting me man. I kept freaking failing and failing and failing so i was like you know what man this is just bs the macho man torso is pretty hard to crack so i was like you know what i'll go over to amazon and i'll find a rick flair elite and uh, i know that his defining moments figure this one right here had blue trunks and i was like yeah that'll be perfect it's the it's the exact same color the this color right here is this exact color right here so i was like you know what what we'll do we'll buy that defining moments rick flair off amazon and what i'll do is i'll pop off the legs and I'll add the Tyler Breeze legs and everything will be right because you know the the Elite 61 Tyler Breeze legs you guys can see here I had an extra Elite 60 it's Elite 63 Tyler Breeze I had an extra one so I popped the legs off of that one and I was going to put them on this Ric Flair we were going to have the Hunter Hearst Helmsley torso a lot this one got the second most amount of votes and I figured that would be the best because the sting legs were too tall so I figured I could Frankenstein it together and it would work out so I Order the Ric Flair, right? $18 shipped to my door, which is actually a really good deal for the Ric Flair. But um, now I just have a Ric Flair figure. And I can't even use it for the custom because I'll show you why. And it is because he does not have ball joints in the middle of his legs. You guys know that uh, if they have this right here, if they have that look, the pine cone joints or or the, the the ones that aren't ball joints right here, if they don't have ball joints right there, you cannot do anything about it. You, you can't switch it unless your torso crack, crotch crack, and then replace the entire inside. It's impossible, and I am not about to crack a crotch and a torso all in one and do all that mess. Cracking crotches is something I will never do. It's just not worth it to me. I would much rather crack a torso. So, so I pretty much just ordered this Ric Flair figure for no apparent reason. I mean, it's a fresh figure and everything. It's it's totally inaccurate as far as the torso goes and everything like that. But at the same time, I I, I just I didn't need this if I wasn't going to get the custom. So that was an epic failure. So what I did then was like, oh my, oh my God, man. So I figured, you know what? We, we have to do something, right? We can't just go on like this. And um, you guys, you guys probably wonder why didn't you check or why didn't you, why didn't you get in there and make sure that it had ball joints? Well, Brad, the reason is because Ric Flair elites 
always come with ball joints and I'll show you right here this one has ball joints the retro fest has the has the ball joints I know for a fact that the target four pack four horseman Ric Flair in the black trunks and the black and red boots that one has ball joints so I figured yeah the defining moments has to have ball joints right because Every figure of the same person usually has ball joints. Every single Kevin Owens has ball joints. Every single Shawn Michaels has ball joints. That's actually not true. The ones in long pants have the pine cone joints and the ones in the in the tights have the ball joints. But you guys get the point. I thought that he would have he would have the ball joints. So really upsetting, man. Total epic failure, but uh we kind of got everything figured out. I actually kind of fixed it, and I'm going to go over that right now. So what I did was, after I found out that my Ric Flair was going to not work, I got my Elite Series 63 Tyler Breeze. I cracked the torso of the Tyler Breeze. I took the crotch of the Tyler Breeze, popped the upper legs from that same Tyler Breeze, Kept those on there. Acetone all the designs off. I'm working on the designs on the back. Um, then I came in with the Elite Series 56 AJ Styles lower legs that we had on this Sting crotch right here. And um, I switched those over here. I put the knee pads over here. Acetone, the Phenomenal, and the one-off. Still got to go back over this with white. Got to add all the paint designs and stuff. Um, came over to my red Kenny Omega from Sold Out. Cracked the torso from the MDT Sold Out Kenny Omega. Threw it onto the Elite Series 63 Tyler Breeze, and now I put my Billy Gun arms on there, and now Kenny Omega is looking pretty all right. I actually ended up fixing it, and all I got to do now is do the head, finish the tights designs, get all that stuff going. But I just thought that was so stupid. So make sure the lesson here is make sure you know the parts will work before you order parts, guys, and waste money and crack torsos and just end up, you know, putting yourself in a great or digging yourself into a hole to where you, you can't make your custom work. Luckily, I had extra parts and I was able to fi uh, figure it out anyways, but uh, this easily could have been avoided had I, uh, you know, asked around the community, hey, does anybody know if the Defining Moments Ric Flair has ball joints? Does anybody, you know, I could have asked beforehand and everything would have been good, but uh, you know what? Now I have a nice Defining Moments Ric Flair to go along with my Retro Fest, and I guess now I need to go out and get the other two is it the other two defining moments? Isn't there another defining moments in the uh, with the black robe and the light blue trunks? Got to get that one. And then every time I get a four horseman Ric Flair, I always use it for parts. So I'll have to get another one of those. But I think that's all of the Ric Flairs. I could be wrong about that, but I do have my suited one. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I, I was totally upset yesterday when, when I could not uh, make my custom. But I did figure it out. Everything is A-OK. -okay, and I'm totally... Totally happy with the way Kenny Omega is turning out now. Now what I'm going to do today is finish uh, creating my Kenny Omega and then I'm going to go over because I'm, I'm going to be doing the MDT Royal Rumble at a different location, not the not here because I'm going to move it to a bigger table. So, uh, you know, the arena will be bigger, the crowd will be bigger, everything will be great. So going to start grinding on the Rumble today and it's going to be good stuff. But Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, this little rant video. If you guys uh, found that comical or whatever, then, then the, the video was successful. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.